Hey everyone, Tamias here, and welcome to another Gacha video. So this is the November 2023 revenue for all mobile games, or at least the main ones. And uh, big, big news for games I play, Nikkei and Hongai Star Rail. And I'll dig deeper into the revenue report, but I know a lot of you guys have asked in the previous videos, what is the background music? And that is the Nikkei OST of Voices of the Sea, one hour version. So you can just search that on YouTube and enjoy. All right, so let's take a look at the biggest winner. Of course, it is Genshin Impact. 54 million USD, not including CN. That's right, it doesn't even include the CN revenue, but uh, 54 million. Now, I personally don't play Genshin. Uh, you can see I play number two and number three, Nekkei and Honkai Star, but Genshin apparently does have the Archon, which is uh, really, really overpowered. Those of you that do play Genshin, let me know how it is down in the comments. Um, how insane was this patch? Was it 4.2 or something? I had a quick look, and it's very, very popular female limited unit, and it's one of the two in the entire year, 2023, apparently, new limited. So, um, clearly it's done work. Waifu sells 54 million USD is quite a lot, and a big jump from the previous one. Now, Nikkei had its anniversary, and uh, you can see Red Hood, oh my god, made so much money, $30 million. It's pretty much just the anniversary, because um, if we look at Tuva or Tov, um, it's not really contributing to this at all. I don't even think a lot of people spent any during the Tova banner. Uh, and uh, quite a huge jump from the previous month, which was quiet. So, very nice. Uh, but Honkai Star Rail, ooh, dropping from 45 to $20 million. Now, this is still fantastic. Um, of course, Nikkei, Honkai Star Rail, Genshin 2 don't include PC stats. And for Genshin and Honkai Star Rail, no CN data on this report, but still quite a significant drop because we've had Topaz and Topaz, the majority of Topaz initial release wasn't even included in this, right? So it's the subsequent Topaz kind of quiet period on top of Ho Ho. And for Ho Ho, if you already have sustains in the form of especially Fushan or Locha, uh, unlikely for you to pull Ho Ho unless you're going for E1 or if you're Mega Mega Well, E6 Ho Ho is insane, but uh, not a lot of people going for that. So you can see it definitely is dropping. It does bring us to a very interesting question. Is Genshin Impact and Honkai kind of competing for its own audience in Wales? Um, you know, people are spending more in Genshin Impact. Does that mean that uh, their budget is now reduced for Honkai Star Rail in the same audience or player base? Because I can tell you right now, for example, my Nikkei Kumer audience, yes, that's most of you watching, um, they're of a different player base than Honkai Star and Genshin. But for Genshin and Honkai Star, I think there's quite a lot of overlap in the Hoyoverse fan base. So very interesting to see that. Let me know if you play both down in the comments. Um, after that, of course, Puzzles Dragons, Uma Musume, these two are JP only revenues and they're ranked fourth and fifth. Oh my god, 18 million, 14 million, it's quite a lot. Followed by Dragon Ball Z, Dokkan, uh, Fake Grand Order, Dragon Ball Legends. Again, these games I don't play. So if you do play them, let me know if there's something going on. I'm looking mainly at the big drops or the big increases, and uh, hopefully in the comments you can let me know what happened, especially Arcanites. Look at that, almost 6 million, oh my god, almost quadrupled the previous revenue. That's absolutely insane. And Hatsune Miku, the, I think this is a music game, making bank as well. Summon Wars, Memento Mori continues to be the game where it's just PowerPoint and amazing, amazing music, and that's enough. That's enough to consistently rake in seven, six million every single month. Oh my goodness. Ensemble Stars, interesting. Uh, I think it's another uh, music game for uh, girls uh, because it's all males. <laughs> uh, I would actually give it a try. Honestly, I would give it a try. And Blue Archive, uh, the cute and funny sensei lovers, uh, we see a bit of a drop from 96 million. Heaven Burns Red. Top tier story by Maida June, um, story creator of Clanad and um, Angel Beats. Still going strong in Japan. One Piece, Bounty Rush. I I don't really trust anime IPs, but uh, it seems to be doing okay. Uh, Global as well. Arcanites jumped from 1.3 to 4 million, so Arcanites is eating good. Fire Emblem Heroes uh, still maintaining the power creep and uh, raking in 4 million. F uh, Final Fantasy Ever Crisis dropped from 6 to 4 in Japan, and this is with a collab, if I remember correctly, right? The collab with Final Fantasy 9 or something. I have no comments about this game other than it's not looking good. Uh, first of all, I believe it's Square Enix, and they have a really bad mobile game track record. And anytime you will see a decline, you you know it's this game. I would bet it's EOS in one year, <laughs> if uh, if I had the uh, uh, choice to to bet on it. EOS within one year. Epic Seven, 
they just can't go under three million. It's only three, four, five million. So they, I think, had a big issue with trying to introduce a uh, eidolon or a dupe system, and the community literally within 20 minutes, the CN community um, sent a truck or they f uh, crowdfunded a truck <laughs> to Korea uh, to uh, <laughs> send a very angry message to the building of Smilegate. Uh, and of course this was cancelled, but they couldn't cancel the truck in time, so the truck still went. <laughs> oh my goodness. This was the funniest thing. If you guys are interested, I will dig up the story from the CM forums, and I'll tell you guys what happened with the CM Bros and Epic 7. And their headquarters is in Korea. It's funny enough. Uh, fake Grand Order. Mm, still doing alright. Dokkan for JP dropped a bit. Blue Archive. Global. Um, the cute and funny senseis there also are spending a lot more money. So 2.9 million. Uh, One Piece, Dragon Ball Z, all of these interesting IPs that I personally don't touch. Reverse 1990 and now. Okay, so the previous 1.1 million, I think, is only less than a week of release. So they raked in 1.1 million uh, in less than one week. And then the month of November, it's 2 million. To be honest, I expect a bit more than 2 million because for CN, the, global, uh, the CN release first month was, uh, was, I think, 20 or 30 million US dollars. So this is definitely a bit lower of course there's also another two million in jp but i know they did a ton a ton of advertisement for jp so this is just about four million together and uh, i honestly think they expected probably a bit more than that i was looking at maybe eight to ten million but i think it's a bit niche but cn bros ate it up and for this month i'm pretty sure they made already about 15 million and from cn alone cn uh the server had their version 1.4 and a sneak peek of 1.5 it's so well received so um yeah they love it there atelier um so this is actually post launch so 2 million going down tower of god going down as well and final fantasy going down so this global revenue azure lane you know what kumar bait works look at nikkei look at azure name nikkei is basically kumar plus story right plot plus plot double plot double d um and Azure Lane is doing fine as well. Uh, more One Piece stuff. Path Nowhere stabilizing. This is post anniversary. And um, they had such an unfortunate event in CN where they had to cancel one of the units. Basically, that unit is truly limited and will not be involved in any of the story as well as the Gacha Boots moving forward. Uh, apparently, some wild, wild animals reported the design of the unit uh, or the story of the unit. And um, the government cracked down the uh, the unit in the game and now that game is completely gone don't worry for global is still there and uh, hopefully path to what continues to do decently well uh, octopath traveler bang dream i'm i think i've seen octopath traveler before in japan and there's oh it's always around what the one million back mark so that's fine bang dream sure hasn't miku all these music games are doing all right around the one million mark Honka impact the third almost a million and uh, we are heading into um, a potential Honka Emitter 3rd 2.0, right? So maybe we'll see another surge after that. Princess Connect, rest in peace, global. And I think we may see the end of JP from Psy Games. It's, it's no longer getting 4 to 5 million consistently. And we're slowly slipping down into a slippery slope. Another Eden, it's alright. Tower Fantasy 800,000. Um, not great. But I have heard that they're releasing a nostalgia or reboot server, so maybe that will revive the popularity or at least milk some more. Who knows which route they take, but hopefully they do a bit better because, uh, yeah, it's 800,000 is not that great for a Tower Fantasy game, which I can see has a lot of quality, so the development cost must be huge. Dolphin Wave, I actually have never heard of this game at all. But apparently, even from JP alone, it's making 800,000, so... Hmm, we'll have to see. Global Gundam, UC Engage, 700,000. Uh, this game's gonna EOS in one year. It's Bandai Namco, and um, yeah, I, I can just see it. All right, the Bandai Namco and games that don't make over a million, it's basically the writing's on the wall. Limbus Company, 600,000. I think a new season has started, so... Despite its uh, Korean news making it to, uh, to the discussion of genital war forms, it's still doing alright. I hope it continues to do well. Ever so, 600,000. Sure. Uh, Damachi, Mobile Suit Gundam, yeah. Their IP anime 
um, anime IPs, those games you really just don't last that long. Outer Play, much, much better. Um, it's the half anniversary, so they do see a nice surge, but I think they took away a lot of free-to-play currencies and pulls, so I know a lot of people are unhappy about that, but you know what? The revenue the revenue is all right. The revenue is all right. Onkite Impact the third. JP is okay. Brown Dust 2 is not looking great. Not looking great. Um, 500,000 this month and probably next month even lower. <laughs> probably next month even lower. So uh, who knows? That game, a lot of people I know that still play it quit already. So hopefully, I mean, I got sponsored to try it out. They made a huge number of positive changes, but it, I think it came a bit too late and they bled a lot of the player base out. So unfortunately, I think um, this game won't last that long. Aster Tarikas. Tataricus. This was an interesting game. I think it's by Gumi. So as soon as I heard the Gumi name, I'm like, yeah, this game is over. And I tried the game. Uh, it's bad. It's really bad. The monetization is so bad. So once it comes to global, I'll do a video and tell you guys how bad the monetization is so you can avoid it. All right. <laughs> Another Eden is doing all right. Aether Gazer global is 300. Man, I, I'm so worried about Aether Gazer. 300,000. And... I don't even know if 2.0 or PC release will save Aether Gazer. It, it feels like, it really feels like Yostar's other game that they cut. Uh, Witches, Revived Witches. This is about to be another Revived Witches situation, I feel. Punishing Great Raven Global. Also, massive drop to 300,000. Snowbird Containment Zone with the summer <laughs> limited and the cute skins in the winter has boosted the revenue to 300,000. Um, it's decent because they are directly publishing the game. So the devs are the publishers, so the money goes straight to them. But still, I don't think um, this is a very healthy revenue line. Guardian Tales, yikes. Fantastic story. Hopefully they keep the game going. Uh, Octopath Travel Global, we talk about it, same as JP. Punishing Green Room, JP is not doing that great either. And some stars, the music game. Yeah, it's all right. Counterside dropping for global. I'm surprised Counterside is still going, to be honest, uh, that people are still playing the game. Uh, it's basically a fantastic story trapped in one of the worst combat systems ever. Uh, yeah, that's all I can say. Puzzle Dragons, Alchemy Stars. Alchemy Stars is still alive. Wow. Fine. I, I'm i surprised. Neural Cloud. Big oof. From 90,000, hey, at least they're in six digits now, so I guess so. Black Clover Mobile is coming to global. Actually, in fact, it is releasing global now. Hope, I mean, I know that game is not gonna last because for JP, despite the strong IP, it's only 150,000 in terms of revenue. That's really low for JP with a strong anime IP. And for global, yeah, I mean, I will see in a couple months uh, when the revenue comes out. Usually, I'm quite accurate about these predictions, okay? I don't just talk out of my ass. Uh, Damage Battle Chronicles. See, there's another anime IP that just fell from grace really, really fast, right? It was making quite a bit of money, and then boom, it's only 130000 Cash grab and go, basically. Neural Cloud, Japan, yep, it's not doing great. And everything else below this is really, really bad. Uh, uh, don't worry about Girls Run Online. It'll never EOS. They'll just keep going. They're funding it. If the players aren't funding it, they will fund it themselves. Uh, Archland or Arkland will never come to global at this rate. 39,000 wouldn't give up. Artery Gear is still going and they released more things. I think uh, it was the second anniversary for CN. I saw the news. So kudos to them. Uh, Artery Gear JP earned an extra thousand dollars. Very nice. Um, Black Clover, I think this is not even a day, right? Not even a day worth of uh, stats. So 20,000 is. You can just ignore this. And a Hegan is about to be Hegan. <laughs> Alright, anyhow, it's Tobias here. Let me know your thoughts on this uh, this month's revenue. And uh, who, what games do you see will blow it out of the park next month? And what games do you think will suffer the month after? Uh, anyhow. <laughs> I think it's so interesting we released this. And it's like a, a very very 
a conversational, or sorry, a controversial report that everyone in the comments, this this poll on Reddit, everyone in the comments just say, "Oh, my game is so good. Your game is gonna EOS because of the uh, revenue." Uh, to an extent, you know, no one wants to invest time or money into a game that's not doing great. But <laughs> I mean, you will have games like New Cloud, Girls Frontier, like they're they're barely making anything, but they will last longer than I would say fifty percent of the games on this list. They will last longer than that. So take it with a grain of salt and just enjoy the game. If you like it, keep playing it. If not, then uh, find something else on the list. Preferably something at the top. Right? Anyhow, it's Demise here, and I will see you guys in the next one. And goodbye now.